Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm excited because we get to do an unboxing of two great Reloop controllers, the BeatPad 2 and the Mixon 4. I'm really looking forward to this because as you guys know, I get pretty excited about Reloop gear. I really think that they provide a nice little uh, entry in the market for their price point for something that's really tough, really well built, and gives a whole lot of functionality, uh, especially thanks to the Algorithm DJ software. So we're going to go ahead and dive into these. We're just going to open up the boxes, see how they look, see how they feel, take them out of the plastic, and uh, just kind of plug them in and give them a quick test. Uh, this won't be the full review. This will just be a little taste. To get the full review, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, pick that up in the next week or two. But for now, let's go ahead and dive into the BeatPad 2. So just looking at the box, of course they mentioned the Algorithm DJ software complete with Spotify integration, which is awesome. You get to tie that in if you have a premium account for Spotify. You can tie that into your account and then you have all of Spotify at your fingertips as a DJ library. Uh, it provides a uh, cable to connect to your iPad or iOS device, and that's the great thing about the BeatPad 2, is it's a professional controller for iPad, Android, and OS X. And so it's got a lot of functionality right out of the box uh, for this two-channel controller. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, in the plastic, we've got, uh, looks like a nice quick start guide. This reminds me of my review of the Mix Tour, my unboxing of the Reloop Mix Tour. It's got a very similar guide to it. Of course, it's a little thicker, a lot more to it. It's that same glossy, high quality quick start guide. Installation and setup covers all that stuff. So looking through the bag, we've got your adapter to connect to Android your standard USB cable in case you're plugging into a laptop to use it with Mac, lightning connector if you've got an iOS device, and then you also get this certificate right here. This is a voucher for Melodics, $50 voucher, so you can get, uh, it says, pad drumming or cue point drumming has become an essential tool for DJs, producers, beat makers, and musicians. Melodics is an app that adapts to your abilities and musical tastes to help you get better at pad drumming faster. So that's got a voucher code on the back. Now let's get into the actual controller. Pretty heavy, as kind of expected. Okay, over here we've got a box. This is probably going to be the power adapter and that sort of thing. Probably an international power adapter. Really heavy, surprisingly heavy. Not heavy in a bad way. Feels very sturdy. And so here's one thing that I really like about Reloop. Look how massive these jog wheels are. I mean, they're just huge. Let me see if I can get something to compare them to. All right, so I've got here a CD case. This is too short, short of the pimp. What do you know about that? I placed that right on top. I mean, you see it fits right on top of that. Uh, it's, it's bigger than the size of a CD. So if you are into big, hefty jog wheels, uh, this could definitely be the ticket for you. You don't see jog wheels of this size very often on two-channel controllers, which is pretty nice. So let's get some first impressions here. Uh, the pads, they feel, like, they feel like beat pads in that they don't have that clickiness that some DJ controllers have, so they don't feel like you're triggering. They feel like you're drumming with velocity, so that's nice. The knobs feel really chunky. They're kind of fat. Uh, I like that. There's really no room to fat finger anything. The uh, cross fader feels fine. The up faders, you know, feel fine. Pitch faders are actually, there's a lot of resistance to them. So if you're the kind of DJ that mixes by, you know, nudging, you know, jumping like that, um, that might take some getting used to. Uh, most controller DJs, that's not going to be a concern. Um, this is similar to the Reloop Terminal Mix 8 in that the Pitch faders are up here instead of next to the jog wheels, and that's probably to make room for these massive jog wheels. So I get why they did it. Um, that might be a little annoying to some people, but honestly, um, I never really had trouble getting used to that with the Terminal Mix 8. 
so I don't see why I would here either. It's got support for your tablet device built in. So right here on the top, I see that there's an inset that you can slide your iPad or whatever you've got. You know, if you've got a laptop, you can just put it off to the side. If you've got an iOS device or Android tablet, slide it right in there and then you kind of have a complete DJ system right here, right out of the box. Uh, I noticed that there are pitch bend controls, which is also nice. So if you like to nudge with the jog wheels, with a pitch fader or with a pitch bend, you've got all those options right here. Outside of that, it's a fairly simplistic controller. Um, there's not a whole lot of confusing gadgets and gizmos on here. Um, I see that they put high pass, low pass filters for each channel, which is nice. Uh, there's an auxiliary input, and then your Q mix and your headphones are right here in the middle. You've got a master output right on top. Uh, the layout is very intuitive. It's got the big browse knob right here in the middle. Then you can load into deck one and deck two. That's very similar to other reloop gear. Uh, I really can't stress this is extremely heavy. And, and I don't, like I said, I don't mean that in a bad way. Most controllers of approximately this size don't weigh this much. And it just really speaks to reloop quality. There's a lot of metal, which is nice. Um, it doesn't feel plasticky at all. So you've got actually a dimmer switch for your LEDs right there built into hardware, which is pretty cool. You've got a, a EQ preset. You can switch between filter EQ or classic EQ style. You've got your master balanced output in uh, XLR, and then you've got an unbalanced output for RCA cables. You've got your auxiliary input, and that auxiliary input does let you switch between phono and line. So if you wanted to connect a turntable to this, uh, this supports that as well. So you get a whole lot of functionality and really, this controller seems like it's going to be for that DJ who's looking for sort of a mid-grade option and they want that mobile functionality of the, you know, the tablets and, and stuff, uh, but they don't want to feel like they're using a cheap plasticky controller. And this doesn't feel like, I mean, this feels every bit as heavy as any professional piece of DJ gear that you'll find in the booth. So I dig this thing a lot so far, just based on the first impressions. You got the Reloop logo embossed on the sides. Just all around really solid. You've got mic on the front, and then of course your headphones jacks. All right. So now we're going to move on to the Mixon 4. Now I've wanted to play with one of these things for a long time, and so I'm really excited to be able to actually bust into the packaging. As you can see, this thing is comparatively massive, but uh, it's obviously four channels. It's got a lot more functionality. Uh, let's read a little bit off the box here. Of course, with Algorithms DJ, it supports that Spotify integration. It also has that tablet docking mount, um, but you get a lot more options on the board. It looks like for metering your tracks and that sort of thing. Uh, you get more pads per side. You get two large effects units, you get a 14-bit pitch fader, access to slip mode, key lock sync, dedicated loop section, uh, Serato flip control. So that's one cool thing about this controller is they call it a high-performance hybrid controller. And what that means is it supports iOS, Android, Mac, and it also supports Algorithms DJ and Serato straight out of the box. It's certified for all that stuff. So if you're a multi-platform DJ, this is a really appealing option. With all that being said, let's bust into this puppy and see what we're looking at. Okay. Okay, once again, we've got the packet with all the uh, manual and the adapters and stuff inside. I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side for the moment. Take those puppies off. Oh, got some stuff here. External power supply. That probably helps save a little bit of size and weight by having that separate. Once again, um, about as heavy as you would expect it after lifting the beat pad. Uh, it's slightly bigger, but it's not super duper heavier. It's a little bit heavier than the beat pad. Get this open. Ooh, it is quite lovely. Ah, it's that fresh controller smell. When I compare the two, 
these pads feel about the same, but they're smaller. These are just massive. Whereas these, you know, one finger pretty much does the trick. Over here, I've got two finger width here covering that same button. Um, it feels like a piece of rubber. It doesn't click. It doesn't give a lot of feedback. Uh, it has a beat pad, you know, drum pad feel. Uh, the big browse knob in the middle once again, and then you've got a load button for each deck. Of course, EQ knobs, you know, everything has an appropriate amount of resistance. I have to try a little bit to turn stuff, but it doesn't feel grainy or gritty or anything like that. Nice solid feel to the faders. Cross faders nice and loose. Everything on here is noticeably large. That's really what I notice, especially when I look at the beat pad. So, for example, even the cue and the play pause, they are huge. I mean, the cue, the play pause, the sync button, uh, there's no mistaking what button you're pushing. There's no confusion there. Uh, you've got access to your slip mode, your key lock, sync, um, and then, you know, shift functions for all the stuff. So, for example, your sync button becomes a sensor button within uh, Serato. You've got access to your effects sections right here on the top, kind of a standard placement these days. Your three band EQ, high pass, low pass, metering here for your master output in the center of the mixing section. And then you also have individual metering for every channel. In some controllers like, uh, I believe the beat pad and the mix tour, you have to kind of check one or the other, whereas this you can see everything in real time. You can see what your channels are doing, and then you can see what your master output is doing. Really, to me, the killer feature about this controller, and I'm sure we'll talk about this in the full review, is the fact that it's a four-channel tablet mixer. Uh, tablet DJing has really come a long way, and this is just, it really exemplifies that. I mean, you've got full four-track mixing and all the effects and everything that comes along with that, Spotify integration and all that stuff and you can plug it into your phone and do all this stuff I mean, it's just amazing. What else we have loop control here on each end once again massive jog wheels They're uh, aluminum top instead of the black on the beat pad. Okay, so you've got a decks three and four So if you want to control your third and fourth deck, there's a button right there. I really like the placement of that actually That's really nice um, once again reloop gear super sturdy heavier than it looks, um, really professional looking. Uh, I know some of you in the Passionate DJ community group on Facebook use this, you've talked about it and you love it. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with it and putting the full review together. If you would like to join that Facebook group, you can do that by going to passionatedj.com forward slash community and you can get in touch with other passionate DJs just like yourself. And also don't forget to check out the Passionate DJ podcast, which is a weekly talk show dedicated to the art and science of mixing music and our goal is to become better DJs together through passion and purpose. So join us on the show and subscribe to this YouTube channel where I'll be putting together the full reviews of these awesome pieces of Reloop gear shortly and take care. We'll see you next time.